just want to slow dance with you. I know all the other boys are tough and smooth, and I got the blues. I want to slow dance with you. I want to slow dance with you. I just want to... After crying because I'll always be alone, I realized I love romance movies, and I want to talk about my favorite. No, not that one. Not that one either. Wait, that's a romance movie? Talking about weathering with you. What's weathering with you, you may ask? <laughs> well, set during a period of expeditional, rainy, rather high school boy Hadoka, insert last name, runs away from his troubled rural home to Tokyo and befriends an orphan girl who can manipulate the weather. Yeah, I'm Carl Lisa. First thing I notice when I'm watching this movie is how insane the visuals are, how much of a joy they are to look at, how much I just want to watch the rain scenes all over again. The overall genre of this film is romance, so let's talk about it. The two lovers, Madoka and Hina. Oh, and uh, Hina has a brother. Bro, that guy's a player, man. He steals all. I believe the most important part of a romance movie are the two people that are in love. In this case, that being Hadoka and Hina, I think they have some really good chemistry. Every time they're on screen, I just smile. The way they interact with each other is wholesome. And I never want it to end. Which is kind of a rare feeling I get with romance movies. But this one just kills it perfectly. And just overall is a great romance story. But along with every movie comes flaws. So let's talk about those. My biggest problem with the film is how easy it is for Hadoka to escape the police. Like, they can't stop a teenage boy from running away. They need to get their gains up. They need to hit the gym like me, man. Huh, I hit the gym every day. Now, I want to talk about who's the best character. Who goes through the best character development. Obviously, it's Sim- <laughs> Nah, 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 I'm joking. It is not. It's Hina. I feel as she's working hard, and throughout all this hard work, she sees the only valuable solution is for it to be the sacrifice that the weather maiden is destined to be. But I also think in the final act, her and Hadoka make the hardest choice. Choice? What the heck is a choice? Hardest choice, which is to let the world suffer for their love, which, you know, is selfish, but it's also the most human. It's the most realistic choice. It's the best choice. Heh <laughs> what do you know? Another video done. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I'm going to try to upload again this week. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Weathering with you is a pretty good movie. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys.